Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for today. Today is the 9th. Um, this is being recorded on the 9th, but we all know that the timing is fluid. Um, sometimes these daily vibes, they resonate today, and sometimes they resonate a few days later, and sometimes they don't resonate at all, so keep that in mind. Typically, I focus on love, whatever comes up, comes up. This is for all signs, however it resonates. Don't try to make it fit. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. And now we have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is this is new love, the beginning, or this is the beginning of love, or this could even be some sort of renewal in love, okay? Say if you're in a relationship right now and things have been rocky, things could be turning around. You know, the love could be coming back. But this this is usually, um, well, not just usually, but in many cases, it's brand new love. It's like God. It's like this is God's hand saying, okay, here you go. Here it is. Here's this love you've been dreaming of. All right, because Ace of Cups can also signify dreams. Pay attention, or it's something that you have been dreaming of, okay? So, right off the bat, we have some love here. So, this is probably going to be a love reading. We have the King of Wands reversed. The Four of Wands, ooh, Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. The Knight of Wands reversed. Okay. So, somebody is clinging to control. Absolutely. Wanting to control destiny. Seriously. Okay, somebody is wanting to be in control, trying to control an outcome. <laughs> Doesn't, there's no more... Excitement, it's like it's over. Something is over. For this person, they're like, they're thinking it's over. You know, this is a very negative energy. This one is too. So we have some negativity here. Somebody is... You know, this is a bout of bad luck. It really is. I mean, we start out with love. Maybe God is asking you to handle this situation with love because, you know, there's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity to come together, to celebrate, you know, to have fun and be happy. But if you are negative and you think negative and you want to be in control and you're not ready to make any compromises and you know you're the Debbie Downer of the bunch and then we got a problem here I mean we got somebody who is not feeling very optimistic or they're not they've lost their focus and their concentration very ruthless and greedy um wanting it all their way and that doesn't work out right it doesn't work out when it's your way or the highway it doesn't it doesn't hmm. Ooh, you know when i saw this card this is the card that i really saw the emperor reversed oh come on So, whatever is going on, it's, it's big, okay? It's universally driven, okay? Because of all the majors that we have here. 
the universe, this is a universal plan. Okay. The, the, so whatever is happening is driven by the universe. There's absolutely no doubt about it. This whole bottom row is major arcanas. Okay. And then we have one major up there. So six out of ten. So it is absolutely something that is out of your control. But somebody is trying to control it. Something is out of your your control. And we have somebody here in this dynamic that is absolutely trying to control the situation. Trying to, you know, fight destiny. Trying to fight the plan. Trying to fight, fight the timing. Okay. But there's there's no way that they can because whatever the whatever is happening is is meant to happen. Okay, there could be a split. There could be some sort of split, some sort of breakup, some sort of um, disconnection that happens that really hurts. It really hurts, but it's a blessing in disguise because there's no more growth there. There's no more. There's no more um, strength in the connection, okay? The connection has has fizzled out. And there's a new connection, okay? There's one connection that has completely come to the point of, of like, completion, okay? There's, there's some sort of connection that is completely... There's no hope in it, okay? It's done, it's done, it's done. But there's an opportunity, there's an opportunity for a new connection. Okay, there is. There's, it's like God is saying, okay, yes, this one has ended. This one has fallen apart. It wasn't meant to be. Um, That chapter needed to close so that we could bring you a better suitor. But then again, there's somebody up here that's not taking any action. You know, they don't have the confidence and the courage and the self esteem and the willpower and uh, awareness that they actually positively need to, to let go because the strength card is about letting go. It really is. It's finding the strength to let go, but this is reversed. This is somebody is trying to and underneath the wheel of fortune, they're not they're not wanting this chapter to end that has already ended. It's already ended. The universe is this is definitely the universe. The universe is trying to bring you wish fulfillment in a new direction but it's like you're hindering it you're hindering it it's like you're trying to control the the direction when the direction is out of your hands the direction is out of your hands it is there's a lot of almost like no i i want what i want and i'm gonna get what i want and i don't care what you think I don't care what the universe says. I don't care what's right. I don't care. I don't care. This is something that is only in my control. When the fact of the matter is, is it's not only in your control, okay? The wheel of fortune is destiny. It's fate. It's karma. Up here, it's reversed. You can't control it even though you, somebody really thinks that they can. They're, they think that they have the strength to control it, but it's not. It's, it's weakness. This this is weakness. The strength reversed is weakness. Weakness to go with the flow. You're 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 weak when you when you have to be in control. Seriously. When you can't let the universe drive, when you can't believe, when you can't have faith. There's lack of faith here. There's lack of faith. There's lack of trust. There's a lot of negative thinking. Somebody that is a know-it-all. We got a know-it-all here who who really thinks that they are in control of their own destiny. And, you know, to some extent you are. To some extent you are. But 
where is this cup of love coming from? This cup of love is coming from above. So if the, if you believe that, right? If you believe that this this love is God's hand, if this cup of love is coming from above, then why wouldn't above be able to control the rest as well? Right? You only believe what you want to believe? Is that what this is? I mean, is that, that truly what this is? Yeah, I want this cup of love, but I want it with this name on it, right? I want this name written on that cup of love. And that doesn't, it's not the way it goes. It's not the way it goes, okay? It's not. Um, so I feel like somebody has been really trying to control an outcome in regards to a partnership that is not meant to be. And they need to find the strength to let go, but they can't let go. They can't let go because at one time there was a lot to celebrate. There was a there was a commitment, you know, there was there was happiness with whoever it is that they're hanging on to. And I feel as though now there's they're in a situation where they're just too too weak, too weak to 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 let go, to let the universe, you know, show them the, the true plan. Um, for some of you that have let go, there is a new opportunity, okay? With the Lover's Card and the Ace of Cups, there is. It's like the universe says, okay, all right, here's your new opportunity. This new opportunity is quite unexpected. Um, this person is, is being brought to you from above. They are. See the angel? This is like Cupid saying... All right, the, here's your divine partner. Can you see it? Do you accept it? Um, this person is not your usual type, but here they are, and there's potential for something really beautiful here. But can you see it? Can you see it? Can you, can you accept it? This is what I have for you. So I feel like you are being given an opportunity for love with somebody new, but you have to make a decision and this decision is, is going to ask you to have strength and faith and courage to go with the flow. I mean, to stop trying to control, to stop putting a name on it, to, you know, complete one chapter in your life. For some of you, you are refusing to shut that door, refusing to let go of something that is never coming back. It's never coming around, okay? This person that you're holding on to is not taking any action. They're not coming around. They're, they're not even part of the story anymore, but they are because you're not letting them go. You're not letting them go, so... That's clinging to control, you know. There's a partnership here that, that is breaking up or is falling apart because there's too many power struggles. There's there's too, many, too much chaos. There's too much disorder. Um, there's lack of, of working together. There's, there's lack of... Um, it's like your power has been stripped away by this person. You know, this person has taken away all your power and you've allowed it and you're not taking it back. So it's like you, you not only are you trying to control it, but you're giving your power to someone who doesn't even want it. You know what I'm saying? Some Somebody is staying in a situation you know, that has no hope. It has no ultimate wish fulfillment there. And the universe is saying, okay, well, we have this love for you. We have this love for you. But you have to make the right choice. There's consequences for your decision. This is a card of consequences right here. You know, you can choose to continue to hold on with, to something that Once was happy, but is no more. It's no more. It's no more. Or you can allow me to help you. You can allow us to intervene and bring you this divine connection that you deserve. 
But it's like there's somebody in this dynamic that is not taking any action at all in letting go. <coughs> there's incompatibility here. There's a breakup. In, in in this in this breakup you know you could you sh you could you could or you should consider it a time to celebrate it's a time for you to heal it's a time for you to bring peace of mind back to your life I think that this day or the days following may be a little chaotic. I think there's some sort of disconnection that is going to happen that really causes an upset, but it's much needed to move you in the right direction towards what you are meant to get. Okay, what you are meant to do. I think the universe is trying to change your direction and you are probably, some of you are fighting it. You're fighting the universe. You're fighting the plan. And that is causing um, some disruption. It is. It's causing some disruption when you go against the flaw, when you go against the plan. But anyway, I do feel like there's going to be an offer or there is an offer that is much more suited and loving and open and genuine than the one that you are holding on to. Okay, I think that somebody is holding on to something that has no ability to to grow. Okay, it doesn't. There's no... Somebody is holding on to some sort of partnership or union or whatever it is that is false. Okay, it's not... There's no strength in it. There's no strength in it. And there is a better opportunity that the angels or Cupid or whoever is trying to make you see. But this emperor reversed is like, mm -mm, I can't, I'm not, I can't, I'm not going to see it. I know what's best. I know, but he doesn't know. This is very conceited, self-centered, um... <laughs> lost, angry, un unrealistic, okay? Somebody is unrealistically holding on to a partnership that is not compatible. I mean, come on now. And therefore, they're not going to get wish fulfillment. They're not going to get anything good out of it. They're not. There's no strength in the connection. There's no strength. There's no... Oneness, okay? There isn't. Somebody is not finding the force within them to let it go. But there's an opportunity for love here. Okay, there is an opportunity for love here with someone new. Okay, that's what this is. That That is exactly what this is. But you have to find the strength to stop trying to fight the truth, okay? There's an opportunity for a new union that they are trying to get you to see. But the Wheel of Fortune is bad luck. The Wheel of Fortune reversed is bad luck. It is. Because you are refusing to let the wheel spin. You've got that wedge. And when the wheel can't spin, it's like that's when things continue to fall apart. And they're good because they want you to find your strength. That's to let it go. To let it go. 
There's a new chapter. The wheel is a chapter, a new chapter that wants to start. A new chapter in your book, but you're not letting it. You're not allowing it by trying to control the situation. Unreasonable. Very unreasonable. Let's get some clarifiers here. I want to know what this Four of Wands is over the star. The Four of Wands, that's about contentment, happiness, gathering. There's like maybe you're going to meet this person at some sort of gathering. Yeah, there's a new opportunity. The five, beginning to realize there's a new opportunity. Five of Cups reversed. Yeah, I think that there is some sort of upset that make that may make you lose faith. That may make you discouraged. It may cause a little bit of self-loathing. But you know, there could be even somebody leaves. Maybe somebody's leaving your life. Okay, say this for an example. Somebody's leaving your life, and it brings some tears. It brings some tears. It brings some some heartache. Okay makes you feel weak, it makes you feel ill, whatever it is. I feel like somebody, you know, maybe has left or is leaving your life that, you know, and it hurts, okay? I don't know where this is coming from. It hurts. And then um, maybe you maybe you, you get angry because this person leaves, you know? There's, there's part of grief, right? Part of grief is anger, and then we do have some anger here. So I feel like there's some anger that comes about and perhaps you end up going to some sort of celebration or gathering. You don't have any hope. You don't have any faith. You're still tearful. You're still, you still haven't let go. And then there, then we, there's this new opportunity that all of a sudden just presents itself. So be prepared. If you go to some sort of gathering in the next few days, you could even be at a church. I don't know. Um, you could meet somebody that is not your usual type and it could it could turn into a soulmate connection you know it could turn into love so i feel like there is some sort of um split there is somebody is leaving somebody there's some sort of split whether it's a family member a lover whatever there's some sort of split that makes you feel causes a lot of perhaps tears yeah, i don't know why i see tears causes some tears causes some heartache causes some sort of oh grieving okay and in the end the split brings you something better suited for you it does. There's another opportunity. I think that you begin to realize that this this was a blessing. And at first, you probably don't see it as a blessing, okay? But I think you begin to realize that this was a blessing. And the wheel, hopefully that wheel will spin around and bring you that good luck, that, that whatever it is that you, that you, well, they are going to because you're going to get something out of this. You're going to get something that is good with the lover's card. This is a new connection. An undeniable new connection, okay? That's been halted for a while. It's like this connection couldn't come in or it can't come in until this happens. That's why this is reversed. It's because this connection could not be given to you until this split was allowed and accepted happened. This, this union break had to happen. <laughs> oh, the devil. And look, it's reversed. This is the break. This is once you take back your power. <clears throat> you take back your control. You break those chains. This is, this is, this is what this is. This is the break. It's the release. It's where you take back your power. You release the hold from the demon that you had been dealing with. The hold is, gets released. And when that hold gets broken, that chain gets broken from 
this karmic toxic situation that you've been holding on to it's like the angel comes in with this offer it couldn't happen until the chain was broken there's some sort of karmic tie that is being broken and you are being given a new opportunity congratulations congratulations Oh, I didn't even shuffle. But yeah, this is, I think there's some hurt. If there is some hurt. There could be some tears. Somebody, you know, is needing to let go. And this could be the time where they actually say goodbye. Goodbye. And with the goodbye brings a new, brings a new love. Okay. A soulmate connection. Listen. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you. Listen. Just listen. Now, the Ace of Cups can often signify heaven, okay? So keep that in mind. Heaven is involved here. This can even signify, and I have to, I mean, I don't know where this is coming from, passing away. I'm not saying that you're going to pass away. But, you know, it could. It could signify passing away and, 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 and something. Sometimes passing away doesn't have to be physically passing away, right? It can be, you know passing away of an, of an era, passing away of a chapter. Something is ending, okay? So something new can come in. So I, I really feel like there's a, there's a new beginning here that is being offered to you with somebody that you are better suited for. But something has to die first, and you have to allow it. For real. And realize that that other opportunity is is around the corner. It's there. And it could lead to marriage, okay? And commitment. The, for some of you, you're going to meet somebody at some sort of gathering. And you're not looking. It's like, I'm not looking for you. I'm not looking. I'm, right now, I'm tearful. I'm not happy. I'm not good. And you're at this gathering and the universe has just brought you two together to help each other heal. It's just the, the magic moment. So I really feel as though this is the time has come for those of you that have broke the chains or the chains have been broken from a situ A karmic tie has been severed. And because that tie has been severed, you have a new opportunity with somebody that is going to love you. They're going to love the way you look. They're going to love the way you act. They're going to love everything about you. Okay? They're going to bring peace and harmony to your life. Everything has been taken care of. Trust. Be prepared for an unexpected choice in love for those of you that have broke the chains. <laughs> 